I just finished up a batch of hats. They turned out excellent. Front and the back over top of the, uh, whatever you call this area right here. They came out really good. Did a dozen of these for a client. Right now, I'm just cleaning them up. Um, I took my lighter, went on the inside, and just burnt the excess, the extra, um, the extra little threads. That's what I do. And yeah, I'm gonna put the um, the paper thing that came with them, put them back inside, and get them ready to ship. This step right here takes a little bit of time, but I mean, customers appreciate it. You want somebody to feel like they got something new. So I put these back inside of the hats. And a little, little extra touch in there. It's always nice to get something and feel like you opened up a new package, you know? So I always put these back inside, especially when they're custom orders. Over here, I'm testing out a design, embroidering it out. A design that I uh, digitized for a client, making sure it embroiders good before I send it to the client. Um, if you need something digitized, just email me. Send your design to awproductions at gmail.com for a price quote. And yeah, we're getting busy today in the studio. Got this thing cranked up, going almost 1,000 stitches per minute, going 970 stitches per minute at the moment. We're moving. We got this over top of here. We got the front. Over top. All right. Nice. Want you guys to try something for me. It's something that I do sometimes every once in a while. If you're the type of person that like does a lot for people and like you are constantly giving, try asking for something from some of the people that ask you for stuff all the time. Just try asking for something. I do that every once in a while, right? And it's it's not something that I want, it's not something that I can't do for myself. I'll just ask just to see if they'll do me the same thing like I do them. You know what I mean? Just checking the temperature and checking um, how people would treat you if you were in need. So just, just try that. Go to one of the people that frequently asks you or on a regular basis asks you for stuff, whether it be for information or to do something for them. Ask them for something and see if they'll do the same for you. Check the temperature. Out of all the things I do in the studio, all the machines that I use, I still enjoy embroidery the most. It's the most creative. DTF is cool and all, it makes money, it's great. Um, but when it comes to being creative and actually feel like you're doing something and you're involved in what you're doing, nothing beats embroidery. It's like, it's more of, a, it's more of an art form to me. It seems like, you know what I mean? So yeah, embroidery is my favorite, still is my favorite, and I don't think it's ever gonna change. So the other day, my phone started acting weird. I have an iPhone, it started acting weird. Um, and I noticed when I pressed buttons and stuff like that, it would be delayed, and I thought that it was due to the fact that I updated my phone. Um, because you know how it seems like Apple likes to send updates to older phones and have them not be useful anymore so that uh, you can be forced to upgrade to a new phone? Well, I thought that's what was wrong with my phone. But check this out. My case was beat up. So I went ahead and I ordered another case. I ordered another case and I put it on my phone. Lo and behold, my phone started working fine. So... For those of you guys that might think that your phone is messed up, it might just be the fact that you need a new case, a new screen protector, and a new case on your phone. Because some, some of the cases, the, the, in my case it was a screen protector. My screen protector was cracked and the buttons weren't working that, that well. When I changed the screen protector, it works just like new. And I bought a new case. But what I found is that in having a new case and have my phone in this new case with a new screen protector, it literally feels like I have a new phone. Like, you know that feeling that you get when you get a new cell phone, you got a new case, you got a new screen saver on it and everything? I have that same feeling right now. 
So, for those of you guys that might think that you need a new cell phone, try changing, try upgrading your cell phone case. Try just upgrading your cell phone case. Because most of the times, our cell phone spends the majority of time in the case anyway. So, if you get a new case, it might give you the same feeling like you got a new cell phone. Makes sense to me. Try it out, let me know how you feel. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm in the house now, and I want to tell you a little story real fast about this um, shirt that I have on. For those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you already saw the process of the shirt that I have on right here. Um, for those of you guys that don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Adub Productions, at Adub Productions on Instagram, so you guys can see stuff in real time as I do it. Those of you guys that follow me already saw that I made this shirt. You guys already know that I made this shirt. I went to Joanne Fabrics and I picked out some fabric that I like, right? And I know it might look funny to some people. Everybody's not going to like it, but that's okay. That's all part of garment decorating, garment making. Um, it's about expressing yourself and your originality and, and doing what you, you know, going against the grain sometimes if you, but in the case of, in the case of this, I like this, I like this fabric. I like this fabric. And I made a shirt out of it. And this shirt was a little bit difficult for me to make. And I'm proud of that. I didn't do the typical, like, short sleeve right here. I did, the, like, the kind of, like, this cut right here. I don't know what it's called. But it was a little bit more difficult than the average shirt. But I wanted to show you guys this because, um, and I made it on my, on my Genome HD 2000. And uh, my don't, Genome HD 5000 BE, as a matter of fact. It says it right here. But um, I wanted to show you guys this because um, while I was doing all those videos on the Brother SE600, I was showing you guys and telling you guys that don't forget the fact that this is not just an embroidery machine, it's also a sewing machine. And having that sewing capability under your belt enables you to do, the whole, enables you to do a whole lot more, especially when it comes to embroidery. Um, and I'm going to keep on practicing on my sewing machine because one day I want to make my own hats. Um, I also want to make my own shirts. I also want to make my own sweatshirts and make my own um, pants and stuff like that. And if you have that sewing capability, you can then garment make and not garment create. I can go ahead and I can take garments apart. I can embroider on them while they're flat. And then I can sew them back together. That's powerful, guys. That's powerful. It takes your skills up to the next level. It takes your capabilities up to the next level. It takes your creativity up to the next level when you can make your own garments. Garment decorating is one thing, but garment creating is something totally different and should be respected at a totally different level because it's just it's just it's just different. So I'm gonna show you guys my shirt real fast. Um, stand up so you guys see the bottom of it. I don't have on the appropriate pants. I just put this on just so you guys can see it in the video. Um, did something interesting with the sleeves. I like it how it is. I'm going to keep it like that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making my own stuff. I'm going to be practicing more and more. And uh, I can't wait to see what I come up with. I got some interesting fabrics from Joann's. And every time I go in there, I see something new. So I encourage you guys to, if you guys have a Brother SC600, or even if you just have an embroidery machine get yourself a sewing machine and start practicing on this because this is going to open up a whole new bunch of capabilities for you especially in terms of like varsity jackets and sweatshirts and stuff like that sometimes you can't hoop something a certain way in order to embroider on a certain part of it you can open the garment up embroider on it flat and then sew it back together. What's better than that? But um, guys, this is just something I want to tell you guys. It's just something for you guys to think about, all right? And um, I'm always trying to help you guys um, get to the next level. And this is the next level. This is the next level. Um, not only garment decorating, but garment creating. And being able to take something apart and put it back together. That's the next level, guys. So um, consider that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know how you think my shirt came out. I love it so far. I can't wait to make some more stuff like this. My girlfriend thinks it's weird and funny looking, but I'm okay with that. But I like it. I think it came out pretty good for my first shirt. My first official shirt. Because normally when I make stuff, I make it and I don't finish it. I might leave the, the sleeves and the bottom part unfinished. But I sewed this whole thing. I finished the whole thing. So proud of myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. Turn up that. Break it up. I
listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Oh,